Welcome. Today I'll be hosting another lesson with the one and only Francesco Paoli of Flash God Apocalypse. Thank hello you very everyone. much for being here. Hello, hello everyone. Thanks uh, you and Martin and uh, the whole academy and thank you for watching. Today we're going to be exploring the topic of heel-toe technique, not only heel-toe but uh, foot technique in general of Francesco. And today's um, main topics, the, the overview of uh, today's lesson is the following. Introduction to heel-toe. Why did Francesco start using it in the first place? Technique breakdown. Demonstration at different tempos. How did Francesco first start practicing heel-toe? Technique differences at different speeds. Issues he faced along the way. Recommended pedal settings, double versus single pedal, and practice routine when working on heel-toe. And of course, we're going to also answer the questions that were asked by you about the foot technique. Okay, so let's get started yeah. with the very first one, introduction. All right, so um, the heel-toe technique is... Uh, uh, a very, um, let's say, uh, a, a very practical technique, especially for extreme metal drumming. And uh, it's, um, it's something that uh, kind of saved my ass many times, <laughs> especially while touring, etc. It's, it's one of those techniques, uh, a little bit like, uh, I guess, like Swivel, if I have no... Uh, actual skills in doing this wheel but th that's the way i perceived it's something that is very uh, much related to the perception that the drummer has of the motion so it's something that it's very hard uh, kind of to control to 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 like handle in uh, different conditions but once you get that it's uh, probably the most reliable technique for fit that uh, i know because it's a uh, ex extremely stable technique, and uh, it is uh, very, very easy to warm up enough to start playing well from like minute number one of the set. When you go faster, this motion uh, it starts it becomes uh, harder because a lot of muscles are involved, and this is basically producing the two strokes uh, with uh, with the feet and. Uh, the more you go, you you go up with the speed. The 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 the, the less is the time to you have to produce those, and it's much better to to use the mechanic of the pedal to to have it and the 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 the, the rebound from the from the head. So then it's become not like an eel two, but a toe toe, toe because toe. yeah, it becomes like pushing down with the leg and then exploiting the rebounds and while going up you play the second stroke so it's basically like playing like a gravity blast so you go down and then one it's not more like a ta ta but it's like a ta ta so it's uh, basically playing this okay so uh, you go down and then up and then down up like this. So uh, it's basically doing this. Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. So you go down and up. So the heel toe, like the proper heel toe, I was saying, it was like starting with the, with the heel. It's like this. Yeah. And then when you go faster, you, you just push with them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to practice the kick once a week because I have another job, but I really like to play. I play festivals, I play gigs, and uh, I want put, to pull it off like easily somehow. And this uh, helps you a lot because you don't have to do it every every single day. So, yeah, it's, it's very convenient in the end. So easily maintainable. Yeah. Okay, very, very cool. All right, so uh, we're going to go uh, back a little bit to the technique uh, explanation in practice. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like you to summarize in a few sentences the difference of the motion itself at slow, mid, and fast tempo. So exactly what are you changing in your like foot when you're like yeah, pushing the, more? The, the this, is, uh, this was personally very interesting for me because I know that this, this is basically the two, two types of heel-toe players, one type who uh, insist on practicing separately the second stroke, like paying a lot of attention to making sure that you mm -hmm. have the same rebound and power, mm 
And they, they might be my, uh, way tighter than me, though. Yeah, yeah, no, this, and... Uh, I and mean, the, like, w when you do that, you can do it everywhere at all tempos. Yes. And this is my kind of shortcut instead to reach high tempos yeah. without stress. So it's like more about uh, the drum part and now to pull it off than the technique itself. And then, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's uh it's very important because uh that's why i was saying that if you go slow tempo it's uh the way you have to play this thing is totally different you know it's not the same thing you know so uh whatever i'm saying works from a certain speed and more but not for slow tempos at all if you go uh, like 170 180 of course you have to think about much I mean, you have to think about the second strokes a lot because yeah. it's going to be like, otherwise, totally sloppy, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, very interesting. I was like sure that you're going to be the opposite because I, when I started experimenting a little bit with heel toe, I was always also this guy. Okay, think about one movement, two strokes, so kind of don't focus too much on the second hit and try to somehow make it happen on its own. And then I know that a lot of people, heel toe players, think that it's it's kind of the wrong approach. But okay, yeah, and it, it is probably. Uh, that's right. what I was saying. Uh, probably they are right for what concerned the technique, but uh, the the um, to like nail it like at all speeds or uh, kind of you know um, think about uh, about the, the the technique itself. But the in the end uh, the the reason why I use this technique is that of uh, another another technique is that it frees my mind and gives me more room for other important things so uh for me it was pointless to focus too much on the technique of the feet so as it the, the most thing the, the, as many I, I mean i was looking for a technique that uh, could help me to just uh, like think uh about my feet the least possible and uh, and that's the opposite of thinking instead of the second yeah. stroke. I mean, like if you start thinking about all those things to control them, probably academical wise is definitely ri more right. But for performing wise, it's definitely uh, less efficient, at least in my perspective. Um, and uh, that's why I try to reduce as much as possible the informations that I need to think about. You know, also play this. Hill up for, but the, everybody is going to play. Do you want to know how you can watch this full lesson? Just sign up at www.drumtechniqueacademy.net. Drumming, as you know, is a lot like gravity. All it takes is a little push.